So who is Miss Rachel and why are all the anti-LGBTQ people madder than hell at Miss Rachel? Well, take a look at this, folks. So this is an article from them.com. It's entitled, Kids YouTuber Miss Rachel Said Happy Pride and the Right Wing Tantrums Commenced. As you as you might expect, right? I mean, this is this is the world we live in. Miss Rachel, who has 10 million followers on YouTube, has since said she stands by her inclusive message. 10 million followers. The article came out on June 4th, and there she is. And you can't get much more wholesome than that. She said, happy pride to all of our wonderful family, families and friends. This month and every month, I celebrate you. And that's what set it all off, folks. The article says, Rachel Accurso, the popular children's content creator known as Miss Rachel, is staying steadfast in her support of the LGBTQ plus community in Pride Month following right-wing backlash. On Saturday, Accurso, who was previously a preschool teacher and now makes educational videos on YouTube for young kids, shared a short video celebrating Pride Month on her Instagram and TikTok accounts, which are aimed at adults for promotional purposes rather than at children. So she didn't even say this in the videos that she makes for kids. She just said it in the promotional videos that she makes for parents. Important point. She said, happy pride to all of our wonderful family and friends, she said while sporting a rainbow shirt. This month and every month I celebrate you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're exactly who you are. And there she is. You just can't get much more wholesome than that. So the article says, Accurso, who has over 10 million YouTube subscribers, clearly anticipated backlash over her sharing something as harmless as a short pride shout out. She closed out the video by addressing viewers who are going to comment they can't watch the show anymore because of the support. No worries and much love your way. God bless, she said. I'm not chasing fame or views. I'm standing strong in love. Good for you. What a statement to stay, say. You know, it's like saying, just go tell someone who cares. I don't care. I'm standing strong on this point, and you don't have to consume my content. So naturally, Daily Wire host Matt Walsh shared a Crusoe's pride message on X, writing, this message This is a message to conservative parents. She doesn't want your business. You should respond accordingly. Right-wing influencer Morgan McMichael quoted Walsh's original video declaring, This woman is sick. Meanwhile, conservative YouTube YouTuber Abby Shapiro, yes, the sister of Barbie burning Ben Shapiro, took to Instagram to complain that a curso mentioning pride equates to children being exposed to things they shouldn't be exposed to. Even though she was saying this on her TikTok account, an Instagram account that was directed towards parents. The article says this isn't the first time a curso has received hate for casual queer inclusion. In March of 2023, she faced pushback for featuring non-binary performer Jules Hoffman in her videos. Nevertheless, her cursor remains unflinching in her support of the LGBTQ plus community. In Monday, a follow-up video addressing the backlash that she's received, the creator even brought up a Bible quote to show the right-wingers as an example of what letting your faith drive your values should look like. She noted that she has shared prayers and said God bless on her platform because my faith is really important to me, and one reason why I love every neighbor. A cursor went on to summarize a chapter from Matthew in the New Testament in which Jesus invokes the great commandment, love your neighbor. I believe it's mentioned eight times, love your neighbor, she said. So yes, everyone belongs. Everyone's welcome. Everyone is treated with empathy and respect. It doesn't say love every neighbor except And then she went on to say, we have met so many wonderful families who watch the show, all with different beliefs, religions, and political views. We treat everyone with empathy and respect. I think it's important to find common ground, and we all want what's best for our little ones. I believe there should be less division and more dialogue. So good for her, folks. I mean, what a strong statement to say. And again, I just want to show you that um, this is the minority, this opinion of hating LGBTQ anything is the minority. And here's a study that was done by glad.org. It's called Accelerating Acceptance 2023. 
And it goes on to say that acceptance study reveals that a record number of non-LGBTQ Americans support equal rights for the LGBTQ community. The study also shows that an overwhelming majority of non-LGBTQ Americans now believe that LGBTQ people should have the freedoms to live their life and not be discriminated against, and that schools should be a safe and accepting place for all youth. With the release of this data, GLAD finds its support for LGBTQ equal rights in America among nine non-LGBTQ people is at an all-time high. And take a look at this study that they did. So it says a 96% supermajority of non-LGBTQ Americans agree that schools should be a safe and accepting place for all youth. A 91% supermajority of non-LGBTQ Americans agree that LGBTQ people should have the freedom to live their life and not be discriminated against. An 84% supermajority of non-LGBTQ Americans support equal rights for the LGBTQ community. And here's the chart that proves it. You can see it going from 79% in 2021 to 81% in 2022 to where it is now, 84% in 2023. So I think we just have to keep in mind, folks, that when you hear a lot of these people coming out and saying what they say about LGBTQ people, all the hate that goes along with it, the reality is that they are in the minority. And it's getting smaller. Till next time, folks.